From armors and weapons to accessories and modifiers, there are tons of endgame loadouts that you can create in Terraria. Usually whichever of the four classes you play, you'll either use the Beetle, Shroomite, Spectre, or Spooky Armor endgame. These four basic armors are awesome and give you tons of benefits from damage to defense to speed and more. But what if I told you that instead of only one of these four builds, there was a secret build that most people didn't know about. A build that, instead of giving equal parts high damage, defense, and speed, only focused all its power onto one of those attributes. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the one endgame melee build that will allow you to inflict maximum emotional and physical damage on your victims. The best part about this entire loadout is that it's way easier to get than the regular beetle armor which requires you to mine tons of chlorophyte, hunt for rare turtle shells, and defeat golem for beetle husks. I split this video up into four different sections, the first three being about the three different armor pieces you should wear for your head slot, body slot, and pants slot, and the last one about how to take your high damage and maximize it. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed. Now let's get into the juice. Let's start with the head slot. Remember that for all parts of this loadout, I'll be maximizing your damage. For this first piece, you'll be receiving 16% increased melee damage and 6% melee critical strike chance. It's crafted with only 12 chlorophyte bars, aka 60 ore, and is none other than the chlorophyte mask. Like I said, compared to getting the beetle helmet, the chlorophyte mask requires only a fraction of the work. Grab a splunker potion if you'd like and head onto the underground jungle and mine 60 chlorophyte ore. Craft a mask at a mithril or oracalcum and and your set. Next we have the body slot. For this I recommend a piece of armor sold by the tavern keep for 15 defender medals after at least one mechanical boss has been defeated. The item is a monk shirt, giving the player 20% increased melee damage and an extra 20% increased summon damage as well, which really can come in handy for some extra damage when using the terra prisma or stardust dragon. 10 defender medals are given to the player upon talking to the tavern keep and pressing the eternia crystal dialogue for the first time. To get more, summon old one's army by placing an eternia crystal in an eternia crystal stand and all sold by the tavern keep. The completion of each wave will cause the eternity crystal to drop more and more defender medals. For the last piece of armor we have the leg slot for which I recommend another piece of armor sold by the tavern keep but this one is only post golem and it's sold for 50 instead of 15. It's none other than the Valhalla Knight's Greaves granting the player 20% increased melee critical strike chance, another 20% increase to summon damage and an extra 20% increase to movement speed as well. For the body slot you'll need 15 defender medals and for the leg slot you'll need 50 meaning you'll need 65 in total minus the 10 free ones he gives you at the start, so 55 in all, which is only a few waves of the old one's army. And now finally, here are the last few things you should do to maximize your damage. Number 1. Reforge all your accessories to menacing. If you need some money, one of my favorite ways to make tons in a short period of time is by summoning a pirate invasion and selling all the loot I get. 2. Equip the celestial shell, warrior emblem, destroyer emblem, and fire gauntlet. For a 60 second guide on how to get these accessories and maximize melee damage, check out the short I link down below. 3. Get the Terra Prisma by defeating the Embers of Light in the daytime. This will allow you to effectively take advantage of the massive 40% summon damage increase from the armor. You can also use a Bewitching Table and a Summoning Potion for an extra 2 minion slots. If you're having too much trouble with this, then the Stardust Dragon is a great substitute that only has slightly lower DPS. Lastly, number 4, use the right potions. The Wrath and Rage potion will increase your damage and critical strike chance by another 10% each. A summoning potion like I said before will also help with an extra minion slot. And that's it, in total you'll be getting 117% melee damage increase, 36% crit strike chance increase, 20% melee speed increase, 20% movement speed increase, and a 40% minion damage increase, and a total of 66 defense from the armor alone, which is right near the full beetle armor's defense of either 61 or 73. Let me know what you guys think about this build down in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like for more content. Until next time, peace.